holy cow you guys it is uh good morning i should say good morning good morning guys it is sunday morning we have um to go and see our horses in a few minutes because we moved to the new barn and we don't want to leave them there and they think that they're alone and yeah so you guys we just hit 50,000 subscribers like somebody in the comments said hey they hit 50,000 i was like no way <laughs> you guys you guys we have 50,000 subscribers. We have 50,000 subscribers. Wow. We have 50,000 subscribers. Cool. Levi's excited for me, for us. Uh, that was pretty anticlimactic. My family is obviously too busy to care, but that is the most exciting news. Like 50,000 was always my goal. Sam and I had to run to the store for a few minutes and we just got home, we hit 50,000. I saw it in the comments, somebody commented oh. that we hit 50,000, I was like, what, no way! And yeah, cool. yeah, that was exciting. Oh, Levi's already out. Next milestone 100. Yeah, next milestone 100. I hope we get there faster than it took us to get to 50. Four years. Yeah, see, he has like, ow! He has this thing where he bites my neck. Like, I don't know if they're love bites, or if he just gets excited because I do that every time he bites my neck. And I know you're not supposed to do that, but it hurts you guys. <laughs> like, anyway, he's headed over to see Sam. And surprisingly, Sam likes him. Gabby, you gotta go get changed. <laughs> he's like gonna bite Sam's beard. He's like, oh, he lets me play with his phone. He like slowly he makes his way down to the phone. Sam, move your phone. Move your phone. Move your phone. <laughs> Phones are not for birds. Phones are not for birds. Oh no, he, he's really strong. That's why I do not let him get it. Step, up. Step. Step. Let go. So he is like a baby. We'll see Gabby. He knows when we're gonna take stuff away from him. Uh oh. That is never gonna go well. We'll see Gabby. Fix the blanket on there. Anyway, we are headed out. Um, we have plans to go to the barn and have a trail ride with our horses. We thought that would be the best way to break them into the barn. It's raining though, so I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, um, but we're gonna go there because I always feel like they're gonna feel like we abandoned them if we don't go and be there with them. So we're gonna go do that, check up on them, see how they're doing, even though I'm sure that they're doing well. You guys, it's the funniest thing just happened. All the girls and I started laughing. You know how a few minutes ago I screamed when Levi, um, was biting my my chest. Um, well, the craziest thing happened. So he talks, and I'm gonna try and get it on film. He does say a lot of things, and when he says them, he <laughs> says them really well. Like, he says, whenever he wants up, he says, step up, step up. Whoa, don't bite them, Levi. That's not cool. Anyways, he says, step up, step up, a million times a day. Like, if he's in his cage, he says, when he says, step up, step up, it means get up, he wants out. But anyways, so. Um, I screamed a few minutes ago, right? And when he screams, it's like a bird scream. It's like a squawk. It's like a ah! But, ah! But when I scream, I say ah! Like a person. And he just mimicked me. <laughs> Gabby came walking up to him and he went ah! But it was like a per- it was my voice. Not like that. It was not like that. It was like a person. He's like, yes, it was like that. No, it was not like that. Um, but yeah, it was so funny because he mimicked me and yeah, that's what I taught my bird. I taught him how to scream. I taught my screaming bird how to scream like I a human. He knows how to scream like me. Say hi, Levi. He always has to jump on me. Say hi. Say hi, dance. I always say, Levi, Levi. I sing to him and he dances. So he dance, appreciates dance, my voice. Dance, 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 dance. Um, do it to dad and dad, will, dad says like shake your booty and he dances. <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. Like, he is so, don't, don't charge him. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> no, don't scream at me. It's not my fault. He's gonna go bite my hair. Oh. When I feel worn out, tired and Oh, look, see, that's what happened. That's why I'm saying, like, we have to go. See how she's just standing there looking at us, like, oh my goodness, there's my people. Like nobody can. I hear you whisper, life has only just begun. So I hope. Wow, so 
Bella. You've been pretty dirty. We came for you. To be stronger than forever when it's you and me together. Cause I never lost my faith in you. Every time when I felt you would pull me through. Yes, I never lost my faith. He's so excited. Yeah, that horse is not white anymore. He's still beautiful, but he was a lot more white yesterday. When I feel broken from every little wound, you remind me all oh, that we are not consumed. There will be moments when I'm drifting away into the dark. But you will lead the way So I hold out hope To be stronger than forever When it's you and me together So the, the grooming, the tack up area is there and then across the hall is the saddle stands. Saddle stands. Yeah, mom, I'll show you how I'm, to set them up. Um, back, you know, I'm cool. Back I'm, helping, uh, I'm helping Sophie because Stella literally was so covered in dirt. Like I can't even. Mom, I don't think you can get it all off. No, like she needs a bath. Oh, Dad's got your riding boots in the car? Yeah. Oh, I never lost my faith in you. Oh, but who could I turn to? Now I know there's nobody like you. And every time we get a little closer, how I wish that I could stay. Yeah, he might walk away in this place. Oh, hello, Storm. I feel the most stressed from Storm. And he is like that when we first got him too. He, he, he does well changing to a new place, but he does go through a little period where he's like, what is happening? Did you think we were forgetting about you? We won, we would not. We just turned off the lights. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay, Storm. It's okay. Shh. Yeah, they're both really antsy. How's Tex? Is Tex antsy? Yeah, you can you can feel it. You can feel the stress. They're like, I do not know what's happening here. I don't know why she's snorting. Like, I, oh, Gabby's already up and. She's probably nervous. Okay, I just have to go sweep up. She's probably nervous. I'll be right back. Oh, she's scared. Of, look, Stella. She's scared of the mounting block. She's hungry. She's like, feed me. You're okay. You're okay, Stella. It's okay. I know that it's a new place and it's a new arena. This is our very first ride in our new arena. You're okay. What do you think of the new mounting block, Sophie? Oh, it's so easy to get up in. So nice. So the girls forgot their boots. Their boots are in Sam's truck and we ended up coming with Kaylee. So we lost the boots. But look, I can't even see them. This, this arena is so huge. Like... Do you guys see Sophie over there? Barely. Oh, Storm, you look so pretty though. How's she doing? So she's snorting a little. Yeah, you can hear the cars and stuff. And remember, Storm goes out to shows all the time. Stella doesn't go anywhere. I never lost my faith in time when I felt you would pull me through Yes, I never lost my faith in you So, um, I know a lot of you guys said that they need a couple of days to, um, 
settle in before we ride, but they, our horses, I don't know why, maybe it's different for other horses, but our horses get antsy and get like nervous that we left them and it's a new environment. And when we come and we take them and we do something familiar with them, they settle better. So maybe that's not the right horse stuff, but that's what's right for our family. Do what's normal so that they know like, hey, yeah, this is okay. Just like we do when, it's a when we go to a show. You wish you could have that speed every day? Yeah, she looks good. She's like going a nice speed, not too fast, not too slow. Sambra, all the stuff. So I'm slowly unpacking. Like I need to go through all of our bins and take out all of our important stuff. Like at our old barn, we used, like they used to play. So they like had their friends and they played with all this stuff. So like they're bitless bridles and the rope halters and like all that stuff. I don't know. I think I, I want to have it out so they can use it if they want. But yeah, we're not unpacked yet, but at least we got some saddle pads happening. I love you in that outfit though. I need to shorten up my strips a whole. Okay. Why you? In riding boots, it feels so weird now since I was in cowgirl boots. My yeah, Sam like... came and he brought their boots. I like that when they're done their ride, they can cool out in that arena and they're going to give us some jumps to set up in that arena so that when we're riding outside, because for a while we want to ride outside. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back, I want you, hit you up, I'm on the other side, I miss you, miss you, take you off, I came in way to strong, cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Is he excited? So, Stella is having trouble. She wants to do what everybody else is doing, and she's not allowed. Storm is so hyper. They're so excited. They're like, This is all new. He's like, Whoa. Gabby only had one saddle pad here, so she's wearing red with pink. Probably have a nightmare about it. Wow. Underneath your bed sheets, it started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no zipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? I'm a cranny for you, so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you Stop, boy! Stella's dragging Sophie to the jump And you're off my radar now I've lost you I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you. Stella's like, let me go. I'm sorry, honey. We need to get you better first. You can't canter and jump. So that means lose weight, okay? Mom, see how fast of a trot she did, like down here? And she started turning. I know. She went so fast trotting, and then all of a sudden she's like, there's the jump. You can't go over them. All right, tomorrow will be quieter. Because she gets the She's excited. It's a new. It's because it's a new thing. It's all new. She'll settle in. But but once we have our lesson this week. We can't We can't canter. Once we have our lesson this week. I think I should canter because she wants to. But I'm stuck on hold. Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why in gravity pulling your in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I lost you. Yeah, I lost you. Telling you that I need you. Put your off my 
Right, so these girls want to cool out outside. Do you guys remember when we were here for the show? So we met a little girl here. She's 13, perfect age for us. And she's riding her sister's horse. And she was really nice and her dad was really nice. So already we're settling in, you guys. Already we're getting a new barn family. Wow, it looks beautiful out here. Texas, like, whoa, what is this place? The girls are chomping at the bit to jump. Like they're just like, let's jump. Yes, <laughs> such nice jumps here. But we have to wait. You gotta go slow. And I wasn't gonna let them do any jumping, but then yeah, I'm a sucker, you guys. I'm a sucker for when they say please. Tex looks really pretty with the green surrounding them surrounding them. I'm glad that Tex and Storm are friends. Oh my god, you're so lazy. He's so lazy. You would be lazy too after you just ran a marathon. That's what it probably feels like to them. It's good for them to get used to all the sound. Like, oh, imagine cantering in here. Well, we are going to canter in here, but they got to cool down. Really? No. One quick lap. All right, one quick lap. Oh my God. One quick lap, the poor horses, it's like 5,000 miles for them. Just like a show, you guys. And Tex overtakes Storm. <laughs> I love the footing here. Okay. Cool them out. I love the footing. Yeah, I love the footing. I've seen like at some shows and stuff. I've seen at some shows and stuff the footing really deep. This stuff is like really nice. And then in the barn, it's like dust free and just really nice. And I'm going to be sad. I can't go. I need my own horse now. So they met this little girl and now they're all going on a hack together. Like that's how fast you make friends, you guys. There they go. Apparently at the end of this trail, there's a cross-country course. The girls went on a hack. Your daughter's so nice, she came yeah. out and took them on a little hack. That's so yeah. nice. You fell off on your trail ride? Yeah, we were going like we walked, but we were walking to check out like to see what type of jumps they were. Yeah, and one was this off. little tiny branch, like skinny branch, like that big. And then the other one was like a log, like you know, the types of logs. Oh, my horse is grazing. You know the types of logs like at um, the horse thing where I yeah. started cross country? Yeah. yeah, he, cause a rabbit ran and he spooked. Yeah. So. I went like right here. <laughs> Not he was, like, Mom, hold his reins. I was, I was like sitting. He should not be eating with a oh. bit. I was sitting right here, and he was really good. He was like trying to save me. So how'd you get back on? Oh, the log jump. It's like. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I want you. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.